Hail, thunderstorms, flash flooding. Severe Weather Center 13 tracks severe storms across the Mid-South this afternoon, trying to keep you and your family safe. We're in the middle of severe weather season right now, and we're still about a month away from the official start of summer. But this one could be even more extreme than usual. Now, to forecast an entire season, it takes the Mid-South's most experienced team of meteorologists. We begin our summer forecast with Chief Meteorologist Andrew Humphrey in Severe Weather Center 13. We are in a transition period right now, with La Nina gradually forming right at the beginning of June. That means cooler than usual Pacific Ocean waters shifting the jet streams that bring weather across the country. Now for us, it brings the polar and subtropical jet streams close together right near Memphis. That will bring us wetter and warmer weather along with more storms. We will bring you through every factor in this forecast. We begin with meteorologist Brittany DeBose covering the heat and humidity we will all feel this summer. Severe Weather Center 13 analyzed temperatures and dew points from the past 20 years, and we found that during the transition of La Nina, temperatures and humidity tend to increase, meaning this summer is gonna be more miserable. The average high temperature in June is 89 degrees, it's 92 degrees in July and 91 in August. Overall, I'd expect temperatures two to three degrees above average each month. The pattern also brings more moisture up from the Gulf of Mexico, ramping up humidity and making it feel even hotter. On a 90 degree day with dew points of around 72, that means it'll feel like 98 degrees outside. Those steamy days can contribute to air quality concerns especially with our community's air pollution problems. Meteorologist Matt Urasavik is looking into the conditions that may make it hard to breathe at times this summer. As we predict hotter and wetter weather this summer, that means an increase in those hot, humid, stagnant days. You're familiar with the pattern. No clouds in the sky and no wind. And what that weather pattern does, it creates a dome over our community, trapping humid air at the surface. The challenge for many communities that also traps pollution down at the surface. Last year, we tracked 16 code orange air quality days. Now we've already had two so far this year. So I predict between 14 and 19 code orange days this year. An important part of this forecast, storms follow the jet stream across the US. So the closer the jet stream gets to Memphis, meteorologist Chelsea Chandler tells us the higher our chance of storms. We've been in a pattern of severe weather with multiple tornado outbreaks this past month. This shift to La Nina will steer those storms closer to the Mid-South. It also allows moisture from the Gulf of Mexico to move farther north. And when systems collide with that moist air, it creates the conditions for supercell thunderstorms and tornadoes. When the jet stream shifts, we see a shift in where tornadoes are likely to form. During La Nina year, historically we've seen more tornadoes in the Tennessee Valley, with the bullseye of the increased activity, including all three Mid-South states. The lower Midwest and Mid-Atlantic are also at higher risk. Studies show tornadoes are more intense and happen more often during La Nina months that will likely have toward the end of summer. The good news is by the time fall sets in, we expect that risk to reduce, but that's when hurricane season begins to ramp up and it isn't uncommon to see hurricane remnants in the Mid-South cause spin up tornadoes. Another concern I have, flooding. 75% of flash flood reports happen now through mid-September. Meteorologist Julia Fife looked into the chances of heavy downpours and rising water. Severe Weather Center 13 is predicting a wetter than normal next few months of summer. As that warm, humid air moves from the Gulf of Mexico, it can feed supercell storms with intense rain. Cities like Memphis are at high risk of flash floods because of all of the paved areas. Take a few weeks ago, we experienced flash flooding here during one of those storms. Expect that to happen more often during June, July, and August. Flooding kills around 100 people a year on average, so you should never 
ever try to drive through standing water. Those flash floods can also impact the Mid-South if they happen north of us. About half of the country drains through the Mississippi River. Flooding upstream can make its way down the river like it did in 2011 when the water covered Riverside Drive up to Beale Street. That historic flooding was the result of snowmelt and intense rainstorms. We don't expect that to happen this year, but Severe Weather Center 13 will track those thunderstorms all summer long. Looking at it all together, Severe Weather Center 13 is predicting an increased risk of storms this summer. That includes strong thunderstorms, flash flooding, and possibly tornadoes. We are also anticipating a warmer and more humid season, about two to three degrees above average. And that heat will likely contribute to more unhealthy air days. We're predicting between 14 and 19 code orange days. Knowing the season will be this active, Severe Weather Center 13 will be on high alert, keeping you up to date on any storms or impacts on your family.